Hi everyone. Thank you for joining me. My name is Renee. Um, I'm with the Crafty Creators. How are you all today? Um, I am a creator with Magnolia Design Co. So I want to thank you guys for coming. Also, I'd like to thank Magnolia for putting this on today and in honor of National Craft Month. Um, we are putting this event on today. It's an all-day event. Uh, you may have seen some of the other creators come on earlier today and make something beautiful for you uh, to, to look at, <laughs> to, to aspire to. Um, and uh, there'll be some others after me, so make sure that you stay tuned. So again, thank you for coming. If you are just joining me, let me find the feed on my computer so I can read the comments. So I don't like reading them on my phone because if I read them on my phone, and I can't see what I'm doing. Let me turn off the volume. Sometimes, hi, Lori. Thank you for joining. Yes, um, we. Uh, I have an hour with you guys today. Yay! Instead of a half an hour, so I may end up doing two projects. We'll we'll have to see. Um, I'd like to um, uh, take a moment and congratulate our two winners so far today uh, for a ten dollar gift card for Magnolia. Um, congratulations to Kathy Dorn and was it Carrie McMillan so congratulations so make sure that if you are tuning in to look for the Google form link in the comments it should be pinned uh, and fill that out for your chance to win some prizes because there's going to be some more giveaways today so make sure that you do that uh, hi Amy hi Lori hi everybody so let's get started again if you're just joining me I'm Renee with a crafty creator and I'm playing around with light today um, I have an overhead light that's very harsh and it likes to leave a shot it likes to leave a a glare so i got my ring lights on because so i'm hoping we have enough light you might be able to see but i can barely see anything so that might be a problem uh, today i'm going to make a door hanger what i'm going to make um on i'm going to do it on our 12 inch mdf board that i've already painted let's see if i can get closer and let me move these comments out of the way because i don't want them in my way okay and i've already painted and i actually put some faux uh shiplap lines on them and to do that, you just take like a, a straight edge, a razor, something, um, not a razor, I'm sorry, <laughs> straight edge, a ruler, uh, something. I didn't have anything in my way, so I just used, um, I just used one of our, that's not one of our chalkboards, but a chalkboard <laughs> with a straight, with a straight edge here. And just took a pencil. That's all you do. You kind of want to measure it a little bit. Like, um, I didn't want it exactly center, so it was 12 inches would be, um, you know six and a half so i did like six and a quarter because i just don't like to be even stevens i don't like to be that way and then i just did um three inches well one two three uh one two th well that's not right oh well we're gonna live with that anyway but i could easily have wiped this off because after i painted it i also distressed it I sanded it. I did both sides because I'm a both sides kind of gal. Um, and then I uh, put a hard coat on top of it. Um, this on my front door, maybe. Maybe. I might put it on the wall behind me to match it might. Because it's going to match the, that stuff that you can barely see. But um, So I use this stuff. I'm not a sponsor or anything like that. But it's American Paint Company. It's a hard coat. It's for furniture. So if you put a coat of this on um, and if you mess up, with your chalk project, then um, you can just easily wash it off and start over, you know, without it sinking into the paint. So um, it's got a more of a sheen to it than I like, but it, you know, I'd rather be safe. So if I wanted to wash these pencil marks off because I didn't measure right, I could, but I'm not going to. I'm also going to use this, um, it's called Little Hair and Roses. So I'm not using the whole thing. As you can see, it's way bigger than my surface, but I wanted to show you what it does fit on. This is our um, 18 inch uh, MDF. It's already painted white, uh, which is a lifesaver, time saver and a lifesaver. Um, so it fits on this perfectly. Isn't that pretty? Um, if we have time today, uh, I might start on this. I might finish this and then start on this because I might want to put this on my door as opposed to this. Or I didn't have any 15 inch round boards. To me, that's the sweet spot for a door hanger, is 15 inches. Um, I love your bunny and banner behind you. Um, you guys wanna see it? <laughs> I made the banner last year, and then I um, 
to the, it's backwards because I don't have a fancy iPhone. But um, but you can see it actually is uh, our Cottontails, um, Cottontail Farm stencil uh, that only fits in this part of the board. And then I had to make this border around it with uh, the rest of the Cottontail. Um, like I just expanded it out and used the, this part of the Cottontail Farm. <laughs> Am I, am I pointing right <laughs> to do this? And then I do use our filigree um, uh, new pattern stencil, which is beautiful. So just do that. So that's how I did that. So thank you. Because my husband, I just hung this up because my husband um, put this old wall up and I didn't want to, um, oh, now I'm not centered. Okay. Um, I didn't want to put anything on it. So we actually just put nails in like in between the slats of the walls. <laughs> I didn't want to, I didn't want to hammer in it. Okay, let's get started or I'll talk all day. Um, so I'm only going to do uh, just the hair on this. We're going ahead and get started. Um, this is a pretty big stencil, so you got to be careful um, when you're using it, especially in a tight space like this, because I might get it stuck to stuff. I'm not going to fuzz it because I've already used this. Um, that's what's great about Magnolia is the stencils are reusable. They're washable and reusable. So I've already fuzzed this a few times. I'm not going to uh, fuzz it anymore. I don't need to. I've already, I've already, I've already used it, fuzzed it, used it, and washed it. So let's get this good in stock. And I'm just going to use, um, because, oh, yeah, besides these two, I'm, I've got a bow started. And it's got, um, it's not finished yet. I'll finish it for you. Um, it's got these, uh, it's kind of like a, they're roses. and Well, not kind of, but they are roses. And they, um, it's like a pinky red color. It's like my favorite color. I call it strawberry color. Um, so I'm going to be using um, something close, probably, uh, for the nose. This is a fuchsia rose. It's new. I've never used it. So it's not quite, but it's, it's closer than, like, this um this color this is more peachy so that's what i'm using today and black and i'm going to be using um almond latte to chalk base instead of black i mean black and both so we're going to try to do like a little hot mess technique crystal oh how cute love the colors oh thank you um so i'm gonna it's not really hot mess so to speak it's just going to be using some black and some brown um black and totally brown bunnies so I'm hoping that it comes out okay but I'm gonna work this way and I'm gonna pull as I go because I don't want to um, it to dry on me and I can get really I can I can go slow so I'm gonna get I'm gonna get ready I'm gonna get my fuchsia out I'm also going to use um, I don't know a green for the eyes this, mm, I don't like this green Oh, that's a sagey color. It's too light, I think. Let me just use this green. Oh, Army. I've never used Army. Yay! I'm going to use Army green for the eyes. Woohoo! I don't know if buddies have green eyes, but my buddy's going to have green eyes. That way I can pull the pull the green in that's on the bow. And watch not me not have any baby wipes here. Okay. I did. All right. Here we go. So how I'm going to start is... So I already told you, I'm just going to work my way this way. So I've got several different squeegees out here, and I've got um, these, which we don't have anymore, guys, but they're coming back. These are our paper squeegees uh, with Magnolia's paper squeegees. Um, they are going to come back bigger or better. Um, if you are in a pinch, you can find them other places. Um, I can tell you about that later if you'd like. Um, just let me know. But there are they're not as great a quality, but they'll work. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm just gonna start the black. Gosh, I, it is, I don't like this light. I'm just gonna do black on the outside here. And I'm gonna do the ear right here in black. Probably do the inside of the ear with the pink. What do you guys think? Let me know. Should I do inside here like a brown or should I do it pink like the nose? Let me know in the comments. Do you haven't filled out the form yet here? Oh, yeah. 
with somebody else. Hello from North Carolina. Hi. Sprinkled. Oh, thank you, Tammy. So I don't know if you, if I should, um, you guys let me know, please let me know in the comments. Um, where's my brown on my, on my latte? So we're going to, we're going to get started kind of, kind of blending a little bit. I don't know how this is going to work because I'm not an artist. I'm not a painter. Uh, what's, what's great about this product is that you don't have to be, you don't have, I'm just going to kind of, you'll see here what I'm doing. It's kind of just painting it on. I think it mixed with the black. That's fine. Kind of just, no, I didn't want to go that far over. Just kind of just give, the, in the fur part, kind of just giving it um, some brown texture, like some brown color here and there. Some of you are really good artists in paint, and but I'm, I don't have that gene. So that's what's great about Magnolia is you don't have to have that gene. Thank goodness. faster than this. Oops, don't wanna. Oh, I'm going on the other side of the board like I said I wasn't going to. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, black, 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 where much way did you go? Okay. All right, so we're just gonna keep on going. We're gonna keep on keeping on. I could have done this all in just one color and been done. But that's what's great about it. It's your project. You could do it however you want. Hello, Renee. Hi, Angela. Angela is one of our creators. Is on our team. I love her. She is a godsend. Very passionate about her business. Um, I love Magnolia. I don't know if you guys... If, you know, if you've heard about what it's like to be a creator with Magnolia, like, I, I'm familiar with this, these products, okay? And so I, I like using them. I was already familiar with them when I found out about Magnolia. And so I decided to jump on as a creator on the ground floor because I didn't want um, to pass up this opportunity to... Maybe be part of something great, right? So I um, I joined as a, a founding creator and it's hard for me to craft and talk at the same time. You guys do that? Do you guys, do you guys have problems with that? Um, and I'm so glad I did. And if you have been on the fence about it, I say go ahead and, and do it. Get, get with your... Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the inner ear and pink. Get with your creator who invited you today and just, it might be not, it might not be the right color for this, but we're going to go with it anyway. Um, and uh, just, you know, talk to them about signing up. It's real easy. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. I promise you, you're going to love it. What I like about it is I love how Magnolia gives me the freedom to run my business any way I want or to, um, you know, uh, just market my brand any way that I want to. You know, they don't give me any um, restrictions, I don't want to use that, on what I do and how I do it. So that's my fa one of my favorite things. Another thing about it is um, that I like is the fact that um, we uh, we have such a great community here. It's like it's like it's almost it's like family. Go ahead and pull. Uh, got a little bit of black, but that's okay. Oops, I pulled a little bit too much. Help! Oh no! sure that I get it back down. Okay, I'm going to finish this little little um, cutie up over here. Another thing that I like is, and I don't talk about this enough, 
but the versatility of all the products like just go to the website i'm sure it's linked somewhere in here the magnolia website and look at go to the not just the catalog but go to the shop section and look at the many different types of stencils that we have and i am blown away every time we have a new release i'm blown away by the by the stencils that come out and now we're getting more and more surfaces more and more um uh just crafting supplies in general tons and tons of colors of chalk paste and ink like any color that you want and then of course you can mix colors if you you know which i do all the time that's what I, one thing i love and i don't say it i don't say it enough because i you know i need to but it's just if you like you know i don't know um faith-based stencils we have tons of those inspirational things and then we have quirky funny things and Millie has done really well at giving a really good selection and if you're not crafty then that's okay because we have tons of diy kits uh that come with everything that you need especially our craft club so if you're interested in learning more about craft club get with your creator i'm sure she'll help you sign up it's real easy it is $22.99 a month with uh, before tax and shipping. But shipping shouldn't be, I don't think it's that much. Maybe like around $5. Um, there is a three month commitment, but you can cancel anytime after three months and it is uh, adorable. So I hope somebody today is doing Craft Club. I am not doing Craft Club because I'm gonna do it on a, a different, at a different time on my page, but and hopefully somebody's um, somebody's doing that today. If you haven't seen it already, get with your creator. Go to the website, check it out. Just under the category uh, Craft Club. Put a little bit more brown in here. I don't know if I'm supposed to leave this pink. Uh, it's just all going to be black down here. I'm just going to make it all black. Oh, shoot. Going to the cream. I don't know about you, but when I'm crafting, I have several squeegees. Several. I have a whole basket here. I'm squeegee rich, right? I'm not getting the flowers because I'm... That then I'm not putting them on this board. Maybe I'll put it on the other board. Um, if we don't get to that board today, that's okay. I'll just use it for another day. For another live event. I'm pretty sure I'm done. I think I got it all. Might be missing a few little hairs, but that's okay. Oh, isn't it cute? Oh, it leaked right there a little bit. That's okay. I can clean that up easily because I had um, put that top coat on there, but that's okay. I can clean that up. I'll clean that up right now. But you can see how cute that is. Look, and I've all centered it for a reason because I'm going to put a bow over here and some greenery. Um, I can't really see too much of the brown. It didn't really mix well, but it's he's still cute. Okay, so what's that? All right. Because I pulled it up too much. I um, didn't lay it back down really, so hold on a second. It will bother me if I don't clean it up right now. That's what's great about this stuff. So easy to clean up. I could just scratch it off if I let it dry. And you know what? It's chalk. It doesn't. It, it doesn't have to be crisp and clean. That's what I tell my girls. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's meant to look like. It's imperfect. Okay, so here we go. Here's that. It's so cute. Look how cute that is. If you have a fellow, okay, I keep looking at that one comment. Okay, I'm going to set that aside for now. I'm going to go ahead and put my lids on because I don't want my face to dry out. Actually, a couple of these were, um, uh, had lost some moisture and I got brought them back to life today. Simply some warm distilled water and shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake your jar. You stir it a little bit, but I do the shake method. So get these out of the way. Um, 
if I don't clean as I go, guys, I'll end up getting paste on everything. Everything. I am a messy, messy crafter. How about you guys? Are you guys messy? Are you guys messy crafters? Oh, hi, Lori. Thank you. You're so sweet. Why are you so sweet? You guys messy like me? <laughs> you want to hear a funny story? For those of you who follow me, you kind of know my husband. He comes on with me some Wednesdays. Um, we miss the last two Wednesdays, but he comes on with me, uh, most Wednesdays and, um, he comes out here last night after I've straightened everything up and he says, oh, it's looking, it's, it's looking good. Like this is, this is going somewhere and he meant to compliment me, but what he didn't realize is that was as straight, that was as straight as I was going to make it. <laughs> like he said, it's got potential. And I'm like, well, it's done. But build me some cabinetry. Okay. Build me some cabinetry so I can put everything up and make it look nice and tidy like the way I am. I'm a little OCD with stuff. I like things in a certain way. It gives me anxiety if it's not. But anyway, here we go. So the bow. As I got started with the bow, I went ahead and started it. And I don't know where I've got I got this ribbon from somewhere. Um, probably, probably, oh, I know where I got both of these from. Um, that's from that's from Amazon and this is from some other place. I don't know. So I guess my question is next. Um, I want to incorporate some white. So do you think I? What about the the lacy? I'm so messy that I won't even go live. Kathy says I'm so messy that I won't even go live. Um, yeah, you need to go live. You, you still got to go live. You just got to do it, right? You can't be scared. You just got to jump on and do it. Burlap, this white burlap, or this white somebody let me know this white uh anybody anybody want to tell me um let me just kind of see so i'm gonna also put this in here so let me just kind of pinch it together and see what it looks like Put the burlap here we go i think i'm gonna do the burlap although i like this better um, it's this, it's just easier to work with. And all I do, I know I love the lace too. Um, all I do is, um, I just simply get it the size I want it to, to be. And I just do them in layers. Like some people have a bow maker and I have one, but I don't ever use it. Some people, I just do things with my hands and I layer my bows. So I, I do each in sections. So I, when I go to pinch it in the middle, it's not always perfect. Sometimes I have to adjust it, but I take like a little twisty tie and twist it real tight. That's how I make most of my bows. And then I just kind of play around with it. Let's <laughs> make sure that it's in the middle, you know, that I've pinched it right. And once I'm happy with it, then all I do is I snip off the ends. I usually don't use gold, but that's all I can find today try to use something like a neutral color. I slip off, I snip off the ends and then I lace it where I want. Oops. I'm not burning anything today. Knowing me, I'll catch something on fire. So I'm not burning anything today. I'm not going to, I'm not going to burn the edges of this uh, bow. And then when I get it to the center, I will glue it. Okay. I will take a little bit of hot glue. I'm going to do that now. And kind of glue it down so it doesn't go anywhere. And I don't glue it right in the middle. I kind of will just take, put a little bit of glue here, just a tiny bit, and a little bit of glue on this side. Come on. Please tell me my glue gun so you do that. Oh, that's not a little bit of glue. That's a lot of glue. And center that. Hold that there. Yeah, everybody said lace, but I, I didn't go with lace. <laughs> Thank you, though. Thank you guys for your suggestions. Okay. All right, that's on there. Little tails I went out here. And so this, I want to incorporate some black. Um, Buffalo check, this doesn't look vintage enough. This, this has sort of a retro feel, I think, when you do stripes. So I'm going to go ahead and... I already tied that off. I'm going to go ahead and glue it.
Don't be afraid to glue your bows that where you want them to look, especially if you're not a professional bow maker, like I am not. I'm not going to put a button. It's actually really, really, I'm going to smash it down as much as I can. I'm not going to put a button on it or anything, but I am going to uh, cover up the middle probably with some twine. So let me find some. Oh. Just a minute, guys. So yeah, I'm going to just take a piece of twine. This is really thick twine. This is a really thick one. I don't know if I like this, but it will cover up the, um, it will cover up the, the gold twisty ties. You can use wire, you can, whatever you want to use. But I save all my red ties if I find any, or I just have a ton of, ton of them. Oops, no, it doesn't look right. Yep, pretty, pretty good. Good enough. All right, so now we have this. Bow is all ready to go. Hopefully I didn't cut the knot here. Okay. See, isn't it cute? Can you guys see it? <laughs> oh, I like it. Okay, so that's the bow. Let me see if our bunny is dry. Oh, I forgot his nose. Oh, nobody told me. I forgot his nose. You know what's great about this, right? You can just lay it back over. I'm going to put a... Is there any pink in his nose? Yeah, the whole nose is pink. I do this stuff all the time, guys. I'm an expert liner upper. I probably shouldn't say that because I'm then I'll jinx it and mess it up. <laughs> an expert liner upper. Is that a thing? Somebody help me out here. Is that a thing? Uh, whatever I'm doing is not working. Well, that looks pretty good. It's not lined up here, but it looks like it's lined up in the nose. So let me... I forgot his nose. got to have a pink nose. Nobody even told me. If you did, I didn't see your comments. So. All right. Now let's see what it looks like with the pink nose. Oh, much better. He's so cute. The detail on this. Um, I'm very impressed with Magnolia's design team. Lisa Ramsey. She is the owner and she designs our stencils and they are awesome. See my cute with the pink nose? Okay. We're gonna, how are we doing on time? Oh, we got a half hour. Great. Um, so I got these flowers. They're just from, I think they're all, everything's from the Dollar Tree. I don't just buy what I like and I throw them in a, literally in a basket. And then when I, I'm looking for greenery, I just go and, well, it's all over the floor right now. <laughs> I just go and just <laughs> go through. I'm like, oh, I like that. And then everything back. Um, but, uh, so I just tied it together again with another... Let me get this a little tighter. A twisty tie. Then I'm going to glue it onto the board. Just do it. If you do it ahead of time like this, then it's, it's easier to glue down, I think. Save some guesswork on how you want it to lay. I think it's going to go... Let's get it laid down and then I'll, well, you can tell me if you like it or not. So here, there's one side. I'm doing another side exactly like it. You know, one thing I always wanted to do was, oh, here it is. It's floral arranging. I'm not that great at it, but. I love, I love putting fresh flowers in my home. Do you guys do that? When I had cancer a while back, I told myself I would buy myself flowers every every week. And I did for a really long time. Until it just got too expensive. Uh, but as a present to myself, I was going to buy myself flowers every week. And I, I'm going to save these little pieces, okay? 
Well, I save everything. I'm thrifty. Thrifty. Okay, where's my bow? Can y'all see? I bought myself sunflowers today. Oh, yes. Buy yourself flowers. Whenever you can buy yourself flowers. I gotta stand up, guys. Some of you craft standing up, and sometimes I do. I do both. Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. <laughs> I haven't even glued it down yet. I'm already in love. Okay. That's what's great about Magnolia, and I don't know about anybody else, but for me, I love the the surprise. When you pull up a, a stencil, and it comes out the way you envisioned it, that peel and reveal, I, after I don't know how many years of using these kinds of products, six, seven years, maybe five, six years, I don't know. It has been, it does never gets old. It never gets old. Never. So I love getting excited about my, um, my craft projects. So what I'm doing now is I'm just strategically placing glue here and there. Because I, I don't want to burn myself. Let's just do this the right way, Renee. There we go. I hope that didn't work. It doesn't take too much, but I, I think I'm going to actually put this on the wall behind me because I need some color. And I think, I don't know, we'll see. Once I get it all done, we'll see if I want it in the on the door of my front door on my porch because it'll go there too or I want to add it behind because if I put it on the front door I'm definitely going to have to add more glue you could even if you wanted to drill drill holes I have a drill press, so I could have easily some drilled some holes like right here and right here and then tied them to the board. This didn't move, did it? It just moved just now. This is where I wanted it, right? Right there? Close enough. Probably cut, I'll probably trim off these little, some of these little edges here. Actually, when I thought I had a half hour, this is why I was going to do it this way instead of just layering them and gluing them down one at a time, which is what I normally do. But I thought I was short on time. Oh, I have a drill press too. Really fun tool. Yeah, yeah, it's great for like, you know, our little um, three inch rounds that we have. That you want to uh, hang them. Um, I put three or four on my drill press and put it down. And I've got four of them done at a time and I, I love it. Like, I, my husband gave it to me. That's one thing I have out here in the shed. It's one of the first tools he ever gave me was the drill press for that reason. So I can put holes in these boards, magnolia boards. Oh, that's good. That's good. That one's probably a little bit more. Okay, that's great. So, now we're going to take the bow and put it right here. I'm going to use a ton of glue to glue it down. Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. <laughs> I love this little hair. I'm so glad I decided. Crystal, the owner, she's the one who talked me into doing something else. And I was... I said, oh, I'm going to do that. Because I was going to do something else. I was going to do a, the vintage, not the vintage truck, but the, the Hello Peeps truck. That, the truck we used for loads of love, loads of, lo 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 loads of luck, all of that. I was going to use that truck. Put some flowers in it. And because I had uh, a ribbon with uh, that, that truck. 
and flowers. Okay, so I'm sure that my okay, that's not it was this way. This is where I want it, so I need to some glue here. And I'm just afraid though that if I don't um if I put it on the porch, oops, don't get that name. If I put it on the porch, then what? Then what? Like, is it going to, you know, some, very rarely things get wet on my porch, but I'd have to, definitely have to spray it. Oh, thank you. I'm going to have to keep staring at it. I love it so much. <laughs> I love my, I love my project so much. Okay. I can always put more glue on it later. What y'all saying? Hey, hey. Okay. Uh, a little bit of that greenery showing, so I'm probably going to have to cut it. You can't see it from where you're at. It really, the bow kind of hides it. All right. Perfect. So let me turn this around so you can see it. It's really cute. It's really cute. I may want to move the flowers a little bit, fix them. That's easy to do. Boom. Boom. Oops. Boom over. That's the only problem with these, the greenery from Dollar Tree. It's not the best quality, but it looks cute. Okay, so next up. Um, I need your help, so make sure you, you, you answer me. So, I this is the hanger that I have. Let me kind of put it up here so you guys can see. Right? That looks large. That looks long. Let me put it out. I went ahead and beaded it. So, what do you guys think? Do you like it? I don't know. I, I haven't decided yet if I like it or not. I should have put this on because now I got to turn it over and I don't want to. Okay, we are going to actually take off. Maybe. Two on each end. Okay, so a little bit of a little bit smaller hanger. And I'm actually going to distress these, I think. So I could use some of this and do it. Or I can just use my ink. Hold on. This is the walnut one. This is the one I normally use what I used on the board. I actually sanded the board and then I went around with ink at the, around the edge of it to give it the, the, that distressed look. I think I'm just going to do this. And all I'm going to do, basically, since I've already strung them, and I got some thicker twine, just like the twine I used on that bow. Yeah, let's going to need some more glue right there. I'll do that in a minute. Um, just because I wanted something a little bit more heavy duty. But I'm just, like, randomly... taking this and kind of gently it'll hit the white and the I'm just rolling them around so I can get all sides I don't want to look polka dotty so let's make sure they're all different Them all around. Then I even touch them a little bit and kind of smudge it so it's not so. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. We're, this is it. I'm going to tie a knot at this end. Oh, is this going to be long enough? No, let's go here. Okay. the door I would want to add some pastels for me yeah oh and if you're talking about the beads I don't have any in this size I have pastel beads I have actually this perfect color but they're too small and I don't think it'll look great but 
yeah, I I used to be all about black and white. It's like the closer to farmhouse, the better. But I was, and now I'm more like I want more color. I I do. I mean, especially at Easter, when don't you want more color instead of all the muted colors? That's what I did last year, and it looked pretty. My mantle was gorgeous, but um, and it was all magnolia. Everything was magnolia, but. Um, just how can you pass up a beautiful color like fuchsia? Oh my gosh. So I'm going to, hopefully this doesn't tear up because I am going to turn this over and gently try to figure this out. So this is, this is right. Yep. And I'm just going to glue it. I'm going to eyeball it. I'm not going to measure it. And let me just see here. Should I measure it? Or I'm going to end up, it's going to be, it's going to be, it's not going to be right. No, don't burn yourself, Renee. So right here is at 10 and a half, no, right here is at, at 10 and a quarter inches. Let me find my trusty pencil I just had earlier today. Pencil, pencil. And I'm probably going to put it at, this is one and a half. And this is, oops, no, you don't move. It's not going to be right. And then this would be, this is when a soft tape measure will come, it would come in handy for you. Uh, one and a half. Right there. Right? Except it's so dark I can't see. I'm glad you guys can see me because I can't see the craft. Okay. No, it's not because it's not one and a half. It's one. I need to go one in a. All right. So it's already at uh, basically ten and a half. So I need to go maybe one and a half. No, I did it at one. Yeah, it's one and a half from there. This would be one and a half. Would be right here. All right. Just gonna, I'm just going to put a low, load of hot glue. Oops. So we'll do it here. And I'm going to... See, you could have you could have drilled a hole in here and it would have made it a lot more sturdier. I just didn't really know where my holes were going to go. So I'm going to hold this down for just a second. Then I'm just going to see about one of these shims. There's a little one. Right here. These little, little shims that I have. To kind of hold it in place. No, it won't work. The twine is just way too thick, which is fine. I'm going to put some more glue then, and then I'll cut off some excess. Oops. I don't care how messy I get on this side, guys. As long as I just have enough glue to hold it. That's all I care about. I like to put those shims, but I can't because the string is too thick. String. String is too thick. All right. Now, where's my mark? Right here. I do recommend if you do have a, a drill press that, yeah, next time you might want to put holes. I just don't, I just don't trust these things. I just don't trust that it'll hold. I mean, I've, I've got put some glue, th glue on some things that have never, ever, ever, I can't get it off at all. There we go. Like I said, if I need more glue, I'll just, I'll just put more glue on it. Okay, so here we go. How are we doing? Oh, we're doing great on time. Okay. We're going to have to glue it up here more, too. But what do you think? You guys like the the the, the, the beads? I probably didn't need the beads. But I, anyway, I'm leaving it. Oh, I like it. Okay, hold on. We're going to do that more up to the top there. Good. 
Now that should work. There we go. See, with the, with the actual hanger, that's why I was more like this. Oh, I didn't have it right on the other side, did I? Well, guess what? It's going to have to be like this. It's going to have to be cottywampy. That's fine. That's fine. Or that's fine. Isn't it cute? I have a little cattywampus on the other side. Do I want to fix it? I don't know. If I can get that glue off, I might fix it later. Okay. Um, so that's that craft. I've got 15 minutes later. Make sure you fill out that Google form, guys, if you want to win some uh, fabulous prizes. Uh, we've already given away two $10 gift cards. Oh, and today is 10% uh, off everything on the website. Forgot to mention that. You guys got to go shop today. Today's the day. If you don't go shopping today, what are you going to do? You're going to miss out on some great deals. So, this is, okay, I've got 15 minutes. I'm going to, I'm going to experiment with something and you, if it doesn't, if it flops, then you saw it. The reason I have these um, shims is because I don't know which creator did it, but she made little carrots. <laughs> and they were so darn cute. And I've, I've actually gifted these to someone on my team, and she's like, I have no idea what to do with them. But they do have some numbers on them. Um, you can leave them as is, or you can paint them, or you can maybe do a flower you know, some sort of flower arrangement with them on the surface. Put a button in the middle, something in the middle. Wouldn't that be cute? Okay, um, I'm actually going to, um, we're going to see about carrots. We're going to see about carrots. Okay. Okay, so let me... Let me take some of this this color. Um, what is it? I forgot. Peach. Um, oh, living coral. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. I should know that. I'm actually going to paint these. It's not an actually orange. Oh, we have a new color, guys. Magnolia has a new um, orange called Clementine, and yeah, it might be Clementine, but it's perfect for carrots. Like it's the perfect carrot color. I don't need this anymore. I'm just going to paint it. Listen. It's supposed to be easy. Yeah, it's going to have this design and the wording on it, but I think that like the 20 on there. I don't know what side I'm going to do this. So I'll just take a couple and do both sides. Alright. See? Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of bright with the light. But it just it changed the color a little bit. From this brown to this, uh, not quite a carrot color, but I'm trying to stay a little muted with my colors um, so I can blend in a lot of my Easter decor with the Easter decor last year. Because remember I said it was sort of um, just mute with uh, just blacks and browns and whites and um, whoa. And so I, um, I, uh, I want to keep with that, but I also want to um, just add some like really soft colors, like the pastels that um, someone just mentioned, like pastel stuff. Hi, Penny! Pretty color. Need to check my inventory to see if I have that. Clementine is brand new. Uh, Living Coral is not. Living Coral is one of my favorite colors. I should have known it was that. But it's dark in here for me. You guys can see, but I can't see anything. Um, so let me dry this. Hold on. Dry these real quick. If you're a creator and you're watching this and you were the one who did these carrots a couple of years ago, will you let me know? Because I want to give you credit, but I don't know who, 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 who did them. And I remember them being a little bigger than this. But... I want to give you guys credit. That will be good on time. We still got plenty of time. Heck, heck. Could have even put them on the board if I incorporated some of this color. If I can find some flowers in this color, I might just stick these on that board. 
if they turn out all right. I don't know. We're, this is this is the first time of me doing it. So if you're watching, Amy, I know I I know that you have these shims, and you didn't have any clue what to do with them, to craft with. Um, well, there you go. I'm actually going to use this part because it says hair on, which is close to hair. Okay, so here we go. Uh, what do I do with my green? Here it is. I'm going to cut some more. So I really don't know how, how much I'm going to use. One or two or three per carrot. I'm doing two carrots here. Just I don't know where this ivy... I know it came from Dollar Tree, but I don't know what I'm using it for. So just cutting on it. I don't think I bought it for anything in particular. Just to craft. Just to craft with. Okay. All right. Put that back over there. I'm getting better with that. Okay. I'm just going to take some glue and glue these pieces. I'm going to do it on the front, and I'll show you why I didn't. I don't think it's going to look good on the bottom. So let me just. Ooh, here we go. Lots of strings. Lots of spidey webs. Okay. And I'll put another one. Probably could have done both at the same time, but. But they don't go on this board, which I, I don't think they're going to. They're going to go on to something really cute. Glue this little thing down. Oh, Anne Marie, she says, I've been inspired by so many of you amazing, talented ladies. That is probably the best way you can support your creator is to let her know how much you appreciate what she does and, you know, interact with her live and share, sprinkle the love. Um, Magnolia, we're representing Magnolia today. And, um, which is a uh, great thing, but not only do you support Magnolia by sharing, you're going to support your favorite creator as well. So make sure that you do that. So make sure this is good and stuck. It's still kind of wet from the paste. It'll be all right. It'll be fine. When that Clementine comes in, I'm going to do some more of these in that Clementine color. They're going to look so pretty. Okay. Just gonna go ahead and start it by gluing it on the back, and I'm just going to do a, just a few little wraps, maybe. Just kind of like to give it that finished look. Obviously, maybe have a finished look. I don't like this twine. It's the kind that it's not very. It's the kind that has all the messies. You know what I'm talking about. Has all the messies? Okay. Go ahead. And you can do it with, you can have like a, a different color orange or a different color pastel or even green. I have green twine over here. It isn't as messy. I might use it. Fuzzy. Fuzzy is the word I was looking for. Fuzzy. Okay. Don't, ow! Thought I had my thing on. <laughs> don't want to do it too thick on the back because if I end up gluing this on something, I don't want it to. Don't want to have too much twine. I, uh, I thought I still had my little thing on, which didn't even hurt, guys. Honestly, hurt a little bit, but not really. Fingers of steel. So it's okay. It's cute. With a little bit of practice, I can make each one look really cute. Can you see that? I'll get up closer. You can see it. Playing around with lights, my ring lights up close to my phone. Isn't that cute? There's a cute little carrot. That's what that shims are for, Amy, if you're watching. Um, make one more real quick. Have some time. I'm going to do it with the, the green twine. This green. Although it looks like it's got something on it. Guys, you know, when I craft, I like to be prepared. I have everything that I need right right here even if it's messy and you guys can't see it's off camera i have everything right where i need it and so when i'm on the fly um i lose all train of thought because i'm like okay what am i doing with this what am i doing 
Why is this this way? What am I doing? What did I just say? Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's do this again. Keep my little thingy on. Okay. Mm. This has got more of a pointy. No, it doesn't. I thought it did. But it doesn't. Both at the same time. Well, this look cute on a little one of our little um, with the saying and one of our little um, you know, like with the spring word and uh, our like what are they five by five size boards? Oh, I did it on the back this time. Well, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Let's try it on the back. No, let's do it on the front. Okay. I do it before. Did I put did I put the flower did I put the greenery in the back? Yeah. I put it in the front. I'm gonna come back and show you all when I make more of these they look a little better. And they um and they're actually orange. Instead of, uh, I like the green better. Instead of um, this living coral, it might look more like carrots to me. I don't know yet. Like I said, I've never made these before. I just had an idea with them. It's kind of messy twine too. Here we go. Here it is finished off in green. Can you see that? Two little carrots! Aren't those cute? Yeah. That's not my idea. It was another creator's, but I'd like to know who it was so I can give her credit. It's like cute little carrots. I like the green, I think, better than the than the twine. Um, so again, thank you all for coming. I got I got five minutes left. I'm good. Um, make sure that you fill out the Google form. Um, make sure uh, for, for me and all the other creators today and stay tuned. Up next is Joey Bailey um, from Creating and All. Um, she is, I don't know what she's making, but I'm sure it will be beautiful. She uh, always does really good things. I follow her and try to watch her live whenever she goes live. I don't know if she knows that, but she does now. Um, uh, I'm trying, to think. I'm trying to fill time. I got five minutes. Um, yeah, this is my first time with Magnolia, so thank you again, Magnolia, for putting this on today in, in honor of National Craft Month. Fill out the Google form. Um, visit the website. If you're going to purchase today from your favorite creator, do so, because you're going to save 10% automatically off the bat just from uh, placing an order today. So uh, go to your favorite creator's live. Uh, actually, just, you just need to go to their page and find an order from them, because uh, we're not supposed to promote, but anyway. I think that's it. Um, I'll put up a picture. I'll have Magnolia put up a picture of a finished product, a project when it's done, when I'm hanging on the door. I think I don't like it like that. I think it's gonna have, I think I'm gonna have to change it. So the, the way I originally had it. Which is fine, I can, I can, I can fix it on the back. So, uh, oh, and then yeah, I gotta spray it. I gotta spray it to make sure that. So thank you guys for joining us. Uh, stay tuned for Joey and I appreciate it. I appreciate all of you. Bye. Aw.